Hello everyone, welcome back to Arrakis for another episode of Let's Play Dune, the 1992 video game adaptation of the 1965 novel and 1984 film. We're playing the Amiga version. Now if you joined us last time you remember that uh, we as Hall of Trades have been tasked by our family and advisors to gain the military aid of the Fremen of the planet. Uh, our Fremen friend Hara has been accompanying us and has just remembered the location of the most respected military leader among the Fremen, whose name is Stilgar. We'd be given the direction of heading far west of the palace and to look at our map. So I'm about to do that, but I'm also trying to remember where we left our prospectors because I'm still keen to get them an ornithopter if I can and to uh, make sure they prospect as, as broadly and as quickly as possible. So they're in Havania Tabir. Oh, interesting that there's the option to cut contact here on the menu. I don't remember seeing that before. That seems a bit abrupt. I mean, that might just mean end the conversation? I mean, you'd hope it would. 43% motivation. Three quarters of the air has been prospected. Oh, so they, are they still prospecting in... Oh, they are. So this one they haven't finished it yet. And then they'll be heading to... That that one, 202 it has two troops. That's where... I think it's probably two harvesters and one ornithopter. So that's exactly where I need them to go. So that's good. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's see if we can work out on the map where... Um... Thanks, prospectors. Let's see if we can work out where we need to go. Um, so far west of the palace. Let's... It'd be kind of nice if we could zoom out a little bit. Okay, that's the palace. Let's head west. Oh, here we go, yeah. And this is... Ooh, see higher clan. Well, I think we should go straight there. Let's do it. I'm intrigued. I'm gonna let this one play out. Um, I think Corral will probably let us know when we're close to the sea edge. Yeah, this will probably be quite a lot of. Uh, quite a lot of in-flight time. I'm conscious that we probably need to be sending a shipment to the Emperor quite soon as well. Hopefully um, these two objectives won't interrupt each other. Oh! It looks like a sketch there on the left. Okay. I... Is that... I don't think this is the one that we were aiming for. Oh! Interesting. Hurrah! Look at your map. Far west of the pass there is the actual pie still got nearby. Hmm. Is this the sketch? Okay. Well, let's. Oh, uh. Can I. There we go. Okay, I need to switch to disc three. Well, I'm intrigued because I don't think this is the one that we thought we'd be finding. So that's interesting. Oh, nobody here. Further in? Nobody here either. Well, let's have a look at the map. It's where are we? There's. Oh, Oxton Hug. We didn't know about that before. That must have unlocked recently. How interesting. There's. I think this might come in handy soon, as there appears to be lots of armed units. There's two ornith... no, one of the ornithopters One of the ornithopters is, uh... Mmm, interesting. Okay. So if I can... I'm gonna find the prospectors quickly. Do you want to be contacted? Oh. Fair enough. Oh, and they're already on their way. Okay, all right, I'll let them do their thing then. That's fine. So, okay, well this is an interesting place. This has lots of resources. So we'll see if we can't 
move some of those around soon. Oh, a worthless world of harvester here in Toronto Twek. Uh oh. Hmm, okay. I don't know much I can do about that right now. Let's take an awning and. So it should still be on our map. Yeah, that's where we're headed. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that was an unexpectedly eventful. I wonder if there'll be any other surprises on the rest of our journey. I have to try and remember to um, get one of those extra harvesters to earn a two egg. Dusk is falling. End of the 15th day. Ah, here we go. Yeah, we're getting close. That's good. Don't think there'll be any more surprises on the way now. I'm quite excited to find out more about Stilgar. Okay, here we go. From here we must fly northwest to find Stolgar. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Um Anything on the Whoa, okay, that's the edge of the planet. No, nothing else on the map. Okay, um, Is there something over here or is that just a shadow? Well that's northwest isn't it, so let's head there. Interesting. This is a bit of a wild goose chase. It's nice that you get some on-screen uh, directional arrows as well when you're not heading for a fixed donation. destination. It looks like a sketch there on the right. Well let's go towards it, I'm hoping it's the one we're looking for. Okay, hurrah! It's very chilly in the morning, isn't it? It is. Okay. <gasps> Stilgar, Fremen leader. Well, let's greet Stilgar first. Oh, I remember you from the manual. You are Leto Atreides, Duke Leto. A you are Paul Atreides, Duke Leto Atreides' son. You've come to our people. This behaviour honours you, and so you deserve our interest. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh. That's interesting. Well, let's talk to the... Oh, so, ooh, I like the moustache of this friend leader. We saw you coming from the other's edge. Uh, talk to me. No? Okay, so will this Fremen work for me? Yes, I agree to let my troop work for you. Great. Okay. Um Fab. My troop is settled in Ergs and Timin, awaiting your orders. Select troop occupation? Specialise in army? Don't feel the necessity to fight for us. Um, Specialise in spice? Okay. No more orders. So, hang on, have I missed something with Stilgar? Talk to me, Stilgar. Oh. Stilgar? Come with me? By joining our forces, we'll be able to make these Harkonnen invaders step back. We shall call you Muad'Dib. The name of the mouse shadow on the second moon of Dune. Your water shall mingle with the, oh, our water. That's uh, some cultural differences there, I think. Great, so we've got Stilgar. So now if 
Stilgar is with us. Does that mean we can convince... Fremen to fight alongside us? Specialised in armour. Ah, there's nothing like military training. Okay. Harkonnens are not very far from here. Okay, so that seems like a good... A good, um... Ah, okay, so they can have these swordy things. That will probably help them. Uh, done. Glad to have some Chris knives. My men will appreciate it. Okay, well, I think that's good. So I think that was probably the, uh, the intended... Uh, outcome there. Well, I think we should probably head back to the palace at this point. What do you say, Stilgar? We must rally other Fremen troops if we are to stand some chance of defeating our Harkonnen enemies. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's take an ornithopter. Hang on, where does it think we are? Excellent. Hang on, it's just revealed loads more sea urchins in the area. Oh, it sure has. Oh, this is a whole new... Wow, okay. That's, uh... So we've just recruited troops here. It's revealed these two that we can contact. That was the one we initially made tracks for. And that's the one we found on the way. Wow. Okay, what's the strategic play here then? I mean, I think we should probably get some stuff. Can we transport stuff? I feel like we can't transport stuff. Um... Mm. It's the 16th day, I'm dawdling a little. I'm going to head back to the palace first. I think while the... Um, let's just check on the prospectors if I can. Oh, they're there. Yeah, okay. So I want to get... Yeah, that's fine. They're in the right place to pick up. Um, oh, I think one of their harvesters went. That's not too bad, I don't think. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna um, head back, exit maps. There we go. Take an ornithopter to the palace. The game suddenly opened up quite a lot in strategic terms. I wonder if there's more story stuff to do at the palace as well. I don't think there's... No, there's an interesting consideration actually that just occurred to me. I wonder if you, if you skip to your destination whether you miss out on discovering any other incidental locations along the way. It's possible. I don't think there's going to be anything else in our path this way because we've made so many discoveries on the um, on the initial journey anyway. But I'm going to let this play out and just see, just see if it happens because we're probably taking a slightly different route there. I'm quite excited to see where this goes. So I. As far as I'm aware, there's only two ways to get equipment to particular groups. That's either to have the group move to the equipment um, by telling it to search for equipment or just telling it to move to another CH, or having the prospectors pick things up and take them around. Okay, well, it's a nice uh, evening sky. So let's 
Um, let's go get the map up. How can I reach the prospectors from here? No, not yet. Okay. I will head back to into the palace right now. In case we need to do any shipments or anything. Okay, I guess we just sort of check through the rooms, see if there's anything interesting happening. Oh, Thupa's in here. Others? Oh, so my... Interesting, nice. So like, my party members and um, all the other things that you can do. So no new messages. Let's see what Thufa has to say. I was sure you were capable of finding a great Fremen. Good. Go and introduce Stilgar to your father and mother. Okay, story stuff. Um, let's see... How are we doing in the war room? Ah, oh, Gurney's in here, okay. Let's talk to Gurney. Stilgar certainly is the man we need. Oh, thanks Gurney. Um... Gurney's always very supportive. He's Duncan. What, what say you, Duncan? Our stocks of spice are currently 15,780 kilograms. Yesterday we had produced 1,940 kilograms of spice. That is 70 better than the day before. Sounds okay. The Emperor will go for a spice shipment tomorrow. Now, by tomorrow, do you mean the 18th? Because it's almost the 18th. Do you remember that spice is by far the most valuable substance in the whole universe, and that it can only be found here on Dune? I remember. <gasps> Paul, glad to see you're back. Who's this man with you? I know of him, Leto. That's Stilgar, the Fremen. You knew about him, Jessica. Oh my goodness. Every Fremen thinks of him as a great man. They all respect him. Oh, okay, we're, we're cut scene Duke Leto Atreides, the Fremen people would like to assist you in your settlement here. They're being very accommodating. These enemies of yours, the Harkonnens, have always treated the Fremen badly. They despise us. They enslave and kill us. We would like to join you in your battle against them. Stilgar, we are honoured by your confidence and we accept your aid. I'm glad to see that my son is in such good company. Your son is a remarkable man. One of a kind, I'd say. He already knows 19 sketches and 10 troop, troop cheeks. Nice little bit of stats there, thank you. We talk a lot about him and his mother. This is the old prophecy. I was very eager to meet you, Jessica Atreides. I can feel strength in you, Stilgar. Oh, yeah. Dad doesn't like that. Paul, I trust Stilgar. Are you, are you sure, Dad? You found the right man. I'm sure his presence will give you many new opportunities. Yeah, I think that's just a, a hint there, isn't it? That we should um, take him with us. Let's see, are we going to balcony? No. Interesting. I'm sure you enjoyed the view. Keep on going, Paul. All my hopes are set on you. Oh, interesting. That was both encouraging and a lot of pressure. Um, let's see if they have anything to say individually. I'm glad to have met Stills, other Fremen leader. I can feel strength in him. Paul, I have a deep feeling that being here on Dune with these Fremen will reveal something to you. Something you can't even imagine. They say... You say they gave you a name, more Dib. Hmm, good. I'm still amazed by this change to your eyes, Paul. Ooh, have you mentioned that before? Let's just talk to the Duke a minute and then we'll, we can check in the mirror. Oh, still the same. Okay. Uh, let's look at the mirror because not only is it a way of saving the game, it's... Oh, yeah! Paul's eyes are, are getting quite blue, aren't they? Interesting. Interesting that they um, sort of doubled up this mechanic for storytelling purposes, which is, is kind of the pattern throughout this. Oh, beautiful. So let's just look away from the mirror right now. So it's... Oh, did it already count the 17th? While... It already counts the 17th while we're in the middle of the night, I think. 
Let's check with Duncan. Oh, Duncan? Sorry, I didn't mean to end the conversation. Okay, so I think we've got a day. Right, let's let's get going then. So let's go to the map and Okay. Um Okay. We need to get a bit closer, don't we? So I'm gonna say We done? Great. Let's fly to here. Well, I guess it'd be handy to see where the equipment is, wouldn't it? So they've got. Yeah, they're doing right. They're doing right. Ooh, there's lots of. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna try flying here. So how do I do that? I can't do that right now. Okay. Let's get to an ornithopter. So I'm gonna get to here. should give me a good spread of contact I think okay so I think mechanically how this works is that we have to find a way to sensibly distribute our resources and while still is in our party we can recruit Fremen to fight alongside us which I think will probably progress how much area of the planet we control. I think that's how it's going to work. Let's see the map and let's see if we can uh, contact the prospectors. Oh man. Um, oh they're just one away aren't they? Okay. So can I... Contact the Fremen? Aha! My troop is settled in Toronto to Beer. We've been doing spice mining for six days. Can I modify the equipment? Unused equipment, so. Yes, there's no way to move that to me, is there? Which is unfortunate. Um, that's fine. You, you keep, keep on doing what you're doing. Well, let's hang on. Let's have a look at. Can I have a look at spice density? How dense is the spice in your area? Um, really, not really not dense. So, if I, you know what, this is the CH that we couldn't get any further into. Let's. Let's go inside. There might be something interesting here. Let's talk to Fremen Chief. My trooper settled in Chuano to beer. We've been doing spice mining for six days. That's 1,740 men, motivation 40% average in spice. Since we started, We've extracted 1,239 kilograms of spice, an average of 11 kilograms per hour. Right now, we are doing 12 kilograms per hour. Spice is relatively poor. Uh, yes. Well, um, there is still some unused equipment here. Ah, Stilgar is kind of a handy hints kind of kind of person. Ah, <gasps> we can go inside with Stilgar. You're the first non-Dune-born person allowed to see this, Paul. What is it? There are many caches like that, Paul. It's the old Fremen dream. Vegetation on Arrakis. There is very slight humidity in the air on Arrakis. We use a wind trap to extract it, and it comes down and gathers here. It's an underground lake. We also have little quantities of the very special water of life. 
it is used by our few reverend mothers. Oh, the water of life extends consciousness, but only a few people are able to absorb it and live. Would you like to try it, my dear? Uh, I accept? Your decision frightens me, my dear. Drink it, if you think that's right. Oh, click. <gasps> Poor Atreides died as he tried to drink the water of life. Many now say that he was too hasty, but I miss him. He was the only man able to send these Harkonnens back. Wow. We found another death screen. Amazing. It just leaves our badge behind. Ooh. Well, let's load again. Because I think we might be able to. Can we... Ah, uh, I was hoping we might be able to last entering a new sketch or last entering into a pound into a place. But we can't. And unfortunately, because I haven't saved during this episode, we've lost some progress. So next time when we come back, I'm gonna head back to this place and we'll we'll take on that decision again, I think. Um because there was an argue option. Well that was a fascinating way to end this episode. Thank you very much for joining me. I very much look forward to seeing you next time as we explore more of the mysteries of Dune. Take care. Bye bye.